Lazarus sparkling success and two magic nights we'll never forget. In episode three, OTM TV gets up close and personal at the Tab Summer of Glory. Welcome, I'm Lani Salathiel, host of OTM TV, which is brought to you by Trots Media's digital partner, Alibar. This episode, we bring you the HRV hero love story of the year featuring Amelia and TC. But first, we'll take you trackside to the Tab Summer of Glory, where across two big nights at Tab Corp Park, Melton, owners shared in a prize pool of over $1.5 million. Night one was headlined by the richest trotting race in the Southern Hemisphere, the Pride's Easy Feed Great Southern Star. And it was trainer John Mead and driver Chris Spinosio who enjoyed some sparkling success. Group one, Pride's Easy Feed Great Southern Star is underway. Vicente flew out from the wide gate. It's coming across red hot. Temporale on the outside, the Kiwi, sparkling success in front, Temporale's going to dive but he will miss, sparkling success wins it. John, congratulations. Thank you. You've just won the richest trotting race in the Southern Hemisphere, how does it feel? Oh. <laughs> it just feels great. How does it feel, you've just won Group 1 Great Southern Star. Oh no, it's lovely and there's so many people from home here, like Terang, um, so it's, it's just lovely. As the sun set on Tabcorp Park, it was all about the Queen of the Trots, Karen Manning, who stamped her authority on the Alibar Ladyship Cup with Our Golden Goddess, winning for Merv and Meg Butterworth. Our Golden Goddess in front, Carla's Pixel 8. Our Golden Goddess clings on. Our Golden Goddess has won it from either Party On or Carla's Pixel with Amaretto close up with Key and Calista. She was, she was, she was great. great, wasn't she? She was so lovely, yes. Oh, it's, oh, I hate just before the race and then you have that last bit and you think, oh, no, no, no. Not after she's been in front all that time, so it was nice. Absolutely. And, you know, everyone wants to win a Group 1. All the owners want to win and, and now you've done it. And how do you feel? Uh, this is this is great. This is I think this is a bit special for Merv because he picked her out, you know, right from the start. She was his little baby and she's not little, is she? <laughs> but she's, yeah, she's great and Karen's just done a marvellous job, Karen and Grant, they've been fabulous, yeah. all about Lumineer vs Poster Boy in the lead up to the $200,000 VHRSC Victoria Derby. But it was Queenslander Colt 31 and trainer driver Grant Dixon who took the coveted prize. Down the outside Colt 31 the Queenslander, Colt 31 after Poster Boy and Colt 31 got up. Colt 31 beat Poster Boy the tip. The locals were back on top in the tab multiplier four-year-old Bonanza when a star emerged in Jillaby Kung Fu for Marg and Jason Lee. Jillaby Kung Fu still coming. Jillaby Kung Fu the outside draws alongside and got up. What a big win. Jillaby Kung Fu. How's that feel? Oh, pretty good, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty, pretty special. Yeah. A few nerves pre-race? Um, no, it's pretty good actually, yeah. I um, yeah. get a bit toey sometimes, but um, <laughs> no, it's pretty good tonight.
Victoria's premier pacing race, the Delray National AG Hunter Cup, fittingly featured the greatest field assembled this season. March of the Packed House was there to see Lazarus and Mark Purden's freakish talent didn't disappoint in a showdown for the ages. They're racing in the Hunter Cup and getting out fast is Shadow Sax. Shadow Sax began brilliantly and is going to lead. Tribeca is coming. It's Lazarus, Soho Tribeca. Lazarus in front from Soho Tribeca. Lazarus keeps giving the miracle horse in front and Lazarus has done it again. Lazarus, the champ, has beaten Soho Tribeca. He was brave in defeat. Thirds close. Lenny the Shark, Heaven Rock's gone home late. Very, very excited but relieved. <laughs> oh, how exciting was that? And the big boy got up for third, so yeah. It's very, great very to well. see Laz here and have all the people here to watch him. It's excellent, so yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, We've got that. a full house here tonight and the excitement was just overflowing. Oh, for sure, for sure. And Mark and uh, Natalie, genius to get the horse back from Perth and to see him come and perform like that is just a credit to everyone involved. So, yeah, very good. The big night featured a second group one, the VL Dallard Cup, when Trotter Kai Valley Blur made his owners very happy. fantastic sport and it's really good to have Shawnee involved in it as well with me. Absolutely and we should get him on camera actually Shawnee, and interview interview Sean shouldn't we? Sean Sean you've got the you've got the cup there. Yes. How does that feel? I'm very happy. <laughs> the triumphs of the Tab Summer of Glory deliver thrills that last a lifetime for participants and owners. But beyond the grand stage are stories that are often less celebrated but just as vital. Chief among them is Harness Racing Victoria's Hero Program, where manager Tanya McDermott and her talented team of retrainers are ensuring the sport's most valued participants continue to enjoy life after racing. Among the many horses rehomed this summer was TC, who some will remember as track record-breaking gelding, the culture. As profiled in the Herald Sun, TC has been rehomed at Barker's Creek and Trot's Media's Michael Howard talked to new owners Claire about the incredible love story that blossomed between TC and her daughter Amelia. We got to know um, TC or the culture um, through one of the HRV open days that was being run at Kobe Lodge um, just past Bendigo um, and we were kind of interested in the program. We were interested in getting another horse for the family and um, we needed an all-rounder that could fit in with a very busy um, family with three kids and various other horses and dogs. And um, 
So yeah, we went along that day, uh, not really expecting to come home with a horse. <laughs> yeah. um, but then um, TC walked into the into the arena where they were riding him, and he was really lovely. And as I was chatting with Bronwyn, one of the trainers there, um, Emilia um, turned around and um, just had an instant connection with this horse. And what was fabulous is that TC had the same connection. Yeah, yeah. So he started walking up to her and she just wrapped her arms around his neck right. and that was it. He dropped his head and for the next half hour they just cuddled. Um, <laughs> anyway, I could see the writing on the wall that we were probably um, having a match here. Um, but we left it for a week and um, came, I came over without the kids. Um, so I wanted to see if TC and I could also have that connection and sure enough he was just wonderful. Okay, Amelia, I want you to tell me all the amazing things about TC. Can you remember when you first saw him? What, what did you think about him? He was beautiful. What, what made him so beautiful? Why do you think that is a beautiful horse? Because I love him. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> It's a lovely story, of course, because the culture, which we many initially knew him as, was a really good racehorse, but always pulled a bit out in front and was never really relaxed. And I think he was at the gaff stable and they found that he just wasn't really enjoying his racing life anymore. Still had some really good racing ahead of him, as you know, but um, they thought it was best to hire uh, to put him into the hero program where he was retrained. And it's great that he's got that second life, basically. Yeah, no, we're absolutely thrilled. And we keep pinching ourselves every day because we can't believe that he's actually here. Um, and it's also such a shift in when, you know, when Tanya from the HIV program told me this stuff um, about him, wanting, you know, being such a fast horse and they showed us the videos, we just couldn't believe it because he's just so relaxed here. Um, it's turned into a wonderful riding horse, um, loves swimming in the dam, riding up in the bush um, and all the kids ride him from our beginner five-year-old up through to Layla, our eldest. It's just wonderful. Yeah, it's, it's only been three weeks and he's only settled in so quickly. And he's done it all already. <laughs> yeah, and so he's got a life of pony club and adult riders ahead of him um, and lots of um, retirement in the paddock as well. So. Yeah, which is fantastic. It's a lovely story. It's why we love the Hero Program, of course. You can get more information at it, about it at hrvhero.com.au. But it's great to see that TC will have a fantastic life going forward with Claire, Amelia and their family. How do you think of TC? Best friend? Best friend? I feel that I wanted to give him some hay every day. Thanks for joining us for another episode of OTM TV. Be sure to keep up to date with all the latest Trots news, videos and podcasts at Trots Media's fantastic new website, thetrots.com.au. Those who have ventured to our new site may have seen the winners of the first Victorian Foal Gallery, a fantastic new competition that attracted 99 entries. Pictured is the winner featuring Liz Burney's beautiful filly by He's Watching out of Miss Saxony. We look forward to seeing this half-sister to the South Australian Cup winner Shadow Sax at a racetrack near you very soon. To see all the foal photos and for more information about how you can feel the thrill of Trot's ownership, be sure to log on to trotsownthemoment.com.au. And that's all we have time for today, but I look forward to seeing you very soon in the winner's circle.